Welcome back to CWS Outdoors. Um, if you can't tell, I'm still in my work clothes. I had to come get the kid. He's feeling a little sick today, so I had to go get him from school. But um, today, I kind of want to do a little unboxing of what I'm going to be doing and throwing and for this year, for 2019. So I've got two boxes here. Got me some tackle warehouse. Boxes of a bunch of goodies. But uh first I guess we'll start with the little what we got here. I've already opened them. Got me a lose speed spool, LFS. Uh I'm a lose guy. I like lose. Um this is the SS1SA. Uh, low gear ratio. This is the 5.6 to 1. This one will be my main, pretty much my hard baits. All my crank baits, my jerk baits. Um, yeah, pretty much all my hard baits I'll be throwing on, on this one. Um, I'll have to make another video of all my arsenal that I have. But uh, yeah, it's a nice reel. I love these new ones. I have the the old LFS that I use. I use that one for my frog, and I think that's a seven to one. But um, I just love these. I love how they, they redid them. They're nice. Let's see what else we got in here. All the goodies, man. Oh, let's see what we got. Where to start? Some lipless. Six cents Quake. Thud 70. This is in the... Boiled crawfish. Uh, half ounce. Throw the lipless this spring. That water's just starting to warm up, so this should be a killer. I love Six Sense Lures, one of my favorites. Um, if you ever watch Ben Milliken on YouTube, I've, that's why I throw Six Sense because of all the fish he catches on Six Sense Lures. So um, I think I got this one. Like I said, the boiled crawfish. I think I have another one in here too. This one's the Quake 70 shad pattern. This one is the 4K shad. So another nice one. So yeah, we got those two. Can't wait to throw those. What else we got in here? We got the KVDs 1.5 square bills. Uh, I'm ready to throw. I love throwing square bills. Square bills is one of my favorites. You can't beat a square bill bite. So I got one, looks like a little bluegill pattern. This one's the neon bluegill. I've got one in black back chartreuse. We got some more in here somewhere. We got one more, yeah. We got one more, 1.5s. This one is the brown crawl. That one just looks good. Oh, yeah, I'm ready to throw some square bills. What else we got in here? We got some football jigs, some dirty jigs, three eighth ounce. So I got two. I got one in green pumpkin, one in black and blue. Black and blue, tried and true. So yeah, I love a football jig. That's one thing I want to get better at this year is throw on a football jig or just a jig in general i i don't have a lot of confidence in a jig but i want to get better at throwing a jig so we'll see what happens throwing these this year so again these are the dirty jigs the team dirty tackle football jigs three eighth ounce green pumpkin black and blue uh some more six cents slewers I've got the Divine Swimming Jig. These are badass swim jigs. I love these. Um, 
you can't beat a bite on a swim jig in the late spring, early summer. Again, 3 8 ounce. That's pretty about heavy as I go is a 3 8 ounce. I don't go any heavier than a 3 8. I'll go to a quarter ounce um, when, it, when it's not too windy or whatnot, but 3 8 ounce is my go-to weight really to throw things here in Colorado. But um, I've got one. This one is the Bone Truce Pearl. Little shad imitator. They just look so good, so sexy. Sorry for the glare from my phone. And then I got another one. This one is the, the Bluegill Fire. If you can see that, Bluegill Fire. So I think I got two swim jigs and got some trailers for them. Um, these are the, the Strike King, Rage Tail, the Rage Menace. Some Rage Menaces, I've got one in Pearl for that swim jig. I got the Black and Blue Flake for the swim jig. Green Pumpkin for the swim jig. Trailers. You can even Texas rig these, uh, these Rage Menaces. They're good, I caught a few fish last year throwing these. So we got some Rage Menaces. Uh, let's see. Oh, for those the dirty jig football jigs, I got these um, the Re Reaction Innovation uh, Smalley Beavers. Smalley Beavers for my trailers for my jigs. Uh, we got the hem Hematoma. It looks like a little black and blue here. Let me open it up. Check one out. Just a little little beaver bait. Not a lot of action, but yeah, it's like uh, a lot of black. I don't think there's any flake in it. Oh, there's some flake. Looks like some purple flake, but yeah, a little black and blue for my trailers, for my jigs. So I got that one, the hematoma color. What else we got? I also got some more Smalley Beavers for the jigs and Green Pumpkin. So some jig trailers. Uh, I got some, some D-bombs for flipping. Some missile baits, D-bombs. Again, I, I'm going to try these. I've never tried them, but again, it's because of Ben Melican on YouTube. Melican Fishing. He throws a D-bomb and destroys fish. So, yeah, I'm going to try these out this year. I've got Green Pumpkin and Black and Blue. That's really all I throw here in Colorado is Green Pumpkin and Black and Blue. I mean, you can't go wrong with that. Again, let's see what we got. Oh, we got some bobber stops. Some stoppers for Texas rigging. Let me see. Oh, my favorite, favorite way to fish. I can't wait till the summer, till that water warms up. Some frogs. Live target frogs. Yeah. I caught so many big fish last year on this black and blue frog. I can't wait to throw this again. Um, I got the black and blue and then I got the green brown, like a little bullfrog. So again, I can't wait till summertime to throw my frogs. I love to frog fish. You can't beat a blow up. Frogs. Uh, one other thing that I've never thrown before, a scrounger head. This is the fish head dude, 3 8 ounce. So I want to try throwing scrounger heads. Um, I w wanted to throw scroungers because of SP fishing on YouTube with Matt. He he killed it with the scrounger head. So I really want to test that out and see how that goes here in Colorado with throwing a scrounger. So we'll try that out this year too. Maybe catch a big one. What else we got? More six cents. I'm a six cents guy. 
We got the six inch movement 80 wake, a little, these wake baits. These things have so much action in the water. It's ridiculous. I love these. Um, it's like a wake bait. They only dive, I think like, says zero to one foot. So these are pretty shallow divers. We've got one in a bluegill. This one is the bluegill spawn. And this one is the shad craft. So I didn't throw a lot of shad patterns last year. So I wanted to try to change it up this year and throw some shad patterns. So I've got these two. Can't go wrong with a bluegill and shad in the movement. What else we got? We got some hooks, some VMC. Some four aught offset point hooks, throwing worms, Texas rigs, whatnot. So had to restock on some hooks. Uh, some chatters. We got some chatters in here. The customs. It's really all I throw on chatter baits is the custom. So we got one black and blue tried and true, green pumpkin, chatter bait customs. Um, I don't have any trailers. You can throw the Rage Menace on the back of a chatter or a swim bait, you know, throw those on the chatter. And we got two more things in here and kind of a finesse. And these are the Havoc bottom bouncers or bottom hoppers, sorry. So I've got one in Junebug because they didn't have no black and blue. So a little stained dirty water, I'll throw the June bug and the green pumpkin havoc bottom hopper so i'll throw these on a weighted wacky rig throw them wacky rig but just a little finesse presentation so i've got the havoc bottom hopper and to be honest that is all i got so yeah i'm i'm pretty excited for this year I'm ready to start fishing, ready for that water to warm up a little bit. I've caught some decent fish this year already. I think I've already got maybe five or six fish 2019. I've been grinding, grinding, grinding since the beginning of the year to get my first largemouth bass. And uh, last few weeks I went out, took the yak out and finally caught me some. I was using a jerk bait, a little Rapala jerk bait. And, Finally got me some. I think I've got one that was about four pounds. I got me one that was about three, three and a half. Got me one that was on three. Uh, got me one that was about a pound, I wanna say so. So I've got about four or five fish already this year, but my goal is to at least, uh, I wanna break five pounds. That was my goal last year in 2018 was to break a five pounder. But uh, I caught one, I caught her on the the black and blue frog. I caught her, she was I think three nine. She was 22 inches long, but she was really skinny. She was a, a really unhealthy fish. Um, she came straight up out of the water. I mean, full body out of the water and blew that frog up, had it in the back of her throat and I caught her. But I, I wanna break that five pound this year and I think I could do it. I think I'm going to go out this weekend with a buddy of mine and we're going to take the yaks out to some ponds we know of and see if we can't hook into a big one. This, But again, yeah, that's pretty much all I got for this year. I've got my cranks, i got my lipless, my jigs, wake baits, chatter baits, my rage minutes, my trailers, frogs, and my new lose. I can't wait to cranking a big one on the lose. Like I said, I'm a lose guy. But uh, I'm gonna have to make a video of uh, my whole arsenal, what I have, all my rods, my reels, everything. But that's pretty much it, guys. But again, thanks for watching and uh, we'll catch you around. Thank you.